good day. I'm Jolene Irisari and today I'm going to do a tepid sponge bath. So this is an application of cold water to the surface of the skin by means of wet sponge. Assessment. First, assess the client for other signs of fever like skin warmth, um, flushing complaints of heat or chilling, diaphoresis, irritability, restlessness, general malaise, or delirium. Second, Determine the patient's ability to tolerate the cold sponge bath. Third, assess baseline vital signs and any hazards to patient's vital functions in application of cold. And then lastly, assess the condition of skin before and after the application to determine if the application occurs. Objectives, first, to reduce temperature by conduction and evaporation. Second, to relieve restlessness, therefore providing a comfort and relaxation. So these are the things we need. So first, basin with warm water, basin with ice chips, bath blanket, bath towel, towel or washcloth, four to six washcloth, and then ice bag. So first, prepare water to a temperature of about 29.5 degrees Celsius or warm water, but add ice chips to bring the temperature down while bathing the patient until the temperature reaches about 18 degrees Celsius. Next, prepare the patient, explain that the face, neck, arms, and legs will be sponge and the procedure will take about 25 to 30 minutes. So hello sir, good morning. So today I'm going to do a tepid sponge bath. Your face, neck, arms, and legs will be sponge for um, 25 to 30 minutes. And then next, protect the patient's bed with a moist proof application and then remove the gown and assist the patient in a comfortable supine position. Next, cover the patient properly to avoid shivering as various parts of the body are exposed to bathing. Okay, and then place bath towel under the head. Next, prepare several ice bags. One ice bag is placed on the patient's head to promote comfort, and the other ice bags are placed on the axillary areas or the groins. If washcloth is to be used on the axillary areas or the groin, wet four washcloths and fold them into four parts. Wring them out so that they are very damp but they are not dripping. Next, 
Place the washcloths in the axillae and the groins. And then leave the washcloths in the in place for five minutes until they feel warm. And then replace them as required during the bath. So that's it. We immerse the folded washcloths for sponging in a basin of water. Next, sponge the patient's face with plain water. Pat to dry, then sponge the neck. Sponging for the face and neck should be 3 to 5 minutes. Next, when sponging the arm and legs, first place a bath towel under the arm. And then sponge the arm gently and slowly for about 3 to 5 minutes. Remember, the farther part of the arm should be sponged first. And then on the, on the next arm, cover but do not dry each part as it is sponge. Next, do the same thing in the lower extremities. Hold the washcloth briefly over the wrist and ankles.
and change water if necessary. Next, check the patient's skin color and pulse rate. If the patient is pale or cyanotic or the pulse rate is increased or becomes irregular, discontinue the bath and then do after care of equipment and change bed linens if soiled. Next, check the patient's temperature about 30 minutes after the bath. And then document the assessment, including the temperature checks. So before the assessment, the temperature of the patient is 37.5, but after the tepid sponge bath, the temperature now is 36.2.